Alice Rivers, the supposed bastard daughter of Lionel Strong, Harwin and Lara Strong's father, is one of the most mysterious characters in Fire and Blood. Namely, because she has quite an impactful role during the later days of the Dance of the Dragons and into the regency of King Aegon III, with her final fate and end of her story unknown due to Fire and Blood ending with her story on a bit of a cliffhanger that, as of now, won't get resolved unless Fire and Blood Part 2 is ever written by George R.R. R. Martin, as there is no mention of Alice among the numerous other plot threads from Fire and Blood in the world of Ice and Fire which as of now is the main source of information we have for events post Fire and Blood. This leads me to the question this video is hoping to address. Given how House of the Dragon addressed some of the mysteries in Fire and Blood by giving some answers, or at least alluding to them, will it give us the same answers to Alice River's fate, or failing that allude to more of her backstory of this mysterious character? Now, at first, Alice Rivers seems like one of the many other side characters in Fire and Blood. However, the mysteries and theories surrounding her true nature and possible power really caught the attention of the fanbase. When you also throw in her relationship with Aemon One-Eye into the mix, with whom she apparently had a son with, and also that Alice claims that her and Aemon were married, thus making the babe a legitimate Targaryen, technically with a claim to the throne to rival King Aegon III, Plus, there is also claims that she is in control of a dragon. When you take all this into account, she's all of a sudden in a very powerful position. So, basically, the forces of King Aegon III come to reclaim Harrenhal after the Dance of the Dragons, which has fallen to bandits and outlaws, and are faced with Alice Rivers and her son with Aemon, and an apparent dragon. The standoff ultimately leads to them fleeing, which leaves a massive plot point hanging, and is one of the numerous cliffhangers Fire and Blood leaves us with that doesn't get resolved in the world of Ice and Fire. For me, the lingering question I most want answers to is the fate of Alice and Aemon's supposed son. The implications for this child are huge and it creates a Targaryen with a good claim to the throne, but also with first men blood if Alice is indeed a member of House Strong. There is a lot of fan theories out there and speculation about who this child could be. Theories that I will delve into in another video coming soon. Currently, we know that Alice Rivers will be in Season 2 of House of the Dragon, and that a large amount of the season will be taking place at Harrenhal, given from what we can tell from leaked filming pictures, and what we know of the general plots that will be covered in Season 2. Now, I suspect a bulk of her relationship with Aemond would be in Season 3, given the time we will be spending at Harrenhal with Daemon in Season 2. I do wonder if they will use this time to bulk out and build up Alice Rivers, exploring more of her backstory, and maybe addressing the fact as to whether she really is the bastard daughter of Lionel Strong. I also suspect they may delve into the more magical and supernatural elements of her character, maybe alluding to some of the powers she supposedly possesses. I personally don't think the dragon she supposedly has is really a real dragon. It could perhaps be an illusion or some kind of glamour, but one of my favourite ideas that the claim of a dragon is more of a metaphor for her son. There is also a fan theory that she is Melisandre from the main book series, but I don't really buy into it that much and there isn't really too much evidence for it if you ask me. And if Alice does possess some power, I suspect it would be more related to the old gods given her connection to Harrenhal, her potential first men descent, and the close proximity of Harrenhal to places of significance to the old gods such as the Isle of Faces. Given the time we will be spending in Harrenhal in season 2, I think it makes sense they will spend a lot of time setting up the more mysterious elements of her character, ready for her involvement with Aemon in season 3. But why do I hope we get some allusion to the outcome of the cliffhangers for Alice and Fire and Blood in House of the Dragon? Well, as things stand right now, as much as I hope we get Fire and Blood Part 2, given the current state of play with the Winds of Winter, it does not really look very likely. The problem we have is a lot of these issues that need to be resolved are past the scope of House of the Dragon well into the regency of King Aegon III. I find it very unlikely the show will get that deep into the regency period, while it may be covered in a spin-off down the line, or perhaps part of a larger House of the Dragon anthology series. As of now, we can't really speculate about it with too much accuracy. Now, if they are going to build up Alice in any significant way, 
especially the mysteries surrounding her and her relationship with Aemond, then I don't see House of the Dragon leaving her character arc unfinished. With the vague possibility another show may end her story down the line at some point, I think what they could do is bring Alice Rivers' Harrenhal standoff with King Aegon III's forces forward a lot, and rather have it take place during the Regency period, have it take place in the direct aftermath of the Dance of the Dragons, potentially during the Hour of the Wolf. The Hour of the Wolf becomes a very King's Landing focused story, being able to cut away to Harrenhal and Alice might allow the story to flow better in terms of not being isolated to a single location and ultimately allow for Alice's story to be finished and thus perhaps give some answers into that of her fate and that of her son. But there is another possibility. Rather than expanding Alice's character and giving her much more depth and background, like House of the Dragon did with so many other more minor characters from Fire and Blood, such as Tyler Lannister, Lionel Strong, and so many more in between, they could go the other way and minimise her character a lot and use her simply as a foil for Daemon during his time at Harrenhal and then Aemon later on and just make her nothing more than the base-born daughter of Lionel Strong with no mystical or magical elements to her character. Something that is important to remember is while she is given the title of the Witch Queen of Harrenhal in the history books and those rumours of her being a witch, we have to remember Fire and Blood at the end of the day is a history book that relies on information from second-hand sources. Therefore, the rumours of her being a witch could just be that. Rumours with the show choosing to follow that path with a more grounded and straightforward version of the character. I do hope for the latter, simply because I hope some of the loose ends from Fire and Blood get tied up, and I did miss more magical elements that Game of Thrones cut out, so it would be nice to see it in House of the Dragon. The more grounded approach would also not surprise me at all, as something the showrunners would choose to do, as again, Game of Thrones often did this with a lot of the more complicated magical aspects of the show. Seeing Alice in Season 2 of House of the Dragon is one of the elements of it I am most looking forward to, simply to be able to see how they handle the character. There are also many other events and new characters I'm excited to see on screen, but something about Alice and the mystery around her is really interesting to me and captured my imagination like it also has the wider fan community. Mm -hmm.